Hello, welcome to City News Daily on City TV. My name is Pia Lacanio for we coming up today. City FM's celebrated journalist, who is also a friend, Christopher Opoku, passes on. We'll bring you the details shortly. We start today's bulletin on a rather sad note because City FM's celebrated journalist, who is also known for his role in the sports fraternity, Christopher Poku, has passed on in a London hospital. The heartbreaking news was confirmed to City News Daily by his father, K.O. Opoku, who revealed that Chris's health had deteriorated. He traveled uh, to London some months ago for treatment. Until he traveled, he was the news editor here at City FM, and he worked in the media for more than 15 years. Now here is Christopher Poku's father speaking to City News. Have a listen uh, to that. Christopher had been, had been well for some time now. Uh, he went abroad about eight months ago. And we've been communicating with him. Uh, but for the past about four weeks, I have not been able to actually speak to him. It was just only yesterday evening at about eight o'clock that I was informed by the mother of Christopher's wife that they had informed her to inform me that Christopher had passed away. And that was it. Uh, I had so many phone calls from friends who knew Christopher and myself. But the woman said, my mother-in-law said, I just confirmed that Christopher has in fact gone. With the heavy heart, management and staff of City FM wish to extend their condolences to the bereaved family. Now away from that start story, in the next few months there will be a vacancy for a powerful position, the Chief Justice of Ghana. This is because the country's current Chief Justice, Georgina Theodora Wood, will retire in June. City News Daily has picked up strong indications that the president will nominate Justice Sophia Ekufu, a justice of the Supreme Court, to be the next Chief Justice of Ghana. She is the second senior most justice at the Apex Court after Justice William Atuguba. If confirmed by Parliament, Justice Sophia Ekufu will be the fifth Chief Justice under the Fourth Republic. Other names that came up were Justice Jones Doche and Justice Enin Yebwa. But information available to City News suggests that the President has settled on Justice Sophia Ekufu. Now, in less than two weeks, Ghanaians will know which companies have put in bids to manage the electricity company of Ghana ECG. Well, the Energy Minister, Boachi Ekjako, says government will hold a bidders conference for the six companies to present their plans and ideas to stakeholders. This forms part of the ECG concession deal where the six concessionaires are expected to inject some $500 million into the operations of ECG. Boachi Ekjako tells City News Daily the process will be transparent. Have a listen to the details. It's September 6, next 2018. We are supposed to have certain activities conducted and done by September 6, 2018. If you don't complete those steps, a balance of $190 million, which is part of the grant, is returned to the U.S. Treasury, and you lose that money. What is the point in not making sure you are timely in order to get the 190. Keep in mind, if we miss that deadline of September 6, 2018, it means that the concessionaire will now also have to go up over and above the 500 million. We'll now have to go and find 190 million to substitute for what has gone back to the U.S. So let's talk about the governing new patriotic party because of that party has directed all party officials serving in government to resign as soon as possible. The council, which is the second highest decision-making body of the party, said combining party work and the government work is not the best. 
The decision which was taken at the council's meeting yesterday was triggered by the recent public outburst between the gender minister Otiko Afisa Jaba and the Northern Regional Chairman of the party, Daniel Bugrinabu, which many have described as a huge indictment on the government. With this new directive, Madam Otiko Afisa Jaba, John Peter Ameu, among others, will have to resign from their positions in the party immediately. Let's stay with the story because the opposition National Democratic Congress has been commenting on this. The party says the decision by the new patriotic party to ask Otiko Afisa Jaba and Daniel Bugrinabu to render an apology is inadequate and of no use. The person who said this was the General Secretary of the NDC, Koku Anidoho. And that's how we wrap up today's edition of City News Daily on City TV. My name is Pale Akanyo Fori. Thanks so much for watching. Second image international admissions in progress. Courses available include hairdressing, beauty therapy and fashion. Call us 1024-331-999. Evening and weekend classes are also available.